These are hybrid composite beams. They are for the Safe and Sound Bridge Program. This is actually sort of an experiment for Missouri. These uh, beams were helped paid for by a grant for the Highways for Life Program. It's a national federal highways program. These beams are made out of a fiberglass shell. They have steel reinforcing in the bottom, foam to uh, basically fill in the space. And then once they're on the job site, they're filled with concrete to make a, a strong enough arch to support traffic. With a, with a standard concrete beam, basically the whole thing is made out of concrete. Uh, there may be some kind of voids in there, some styrofoam or tube voids, but for the most part, it's entirely concrete. These beams, there's only a small arch worth of concrete that runs along here to form an arch shape that's only um, you know, about six or eight inches thick, depending on the size of the beam. So you end up using about one-fifth the concrete that you would for a normal beam. It's just as strong as a standard beam would be. Uh, with a standard beam, you know, you have a lot of extra material in there that's not serving a purpose all the time. It's just there because you have to, you have to be able to make the beam. With this, they've optimized that, and all that extra material has basically been replaced by styrofoam that's hidden inside there. You can take these beams, several of them on a truck, you know, they can fit six beams or more on one truck, take them to the job site, and then offload them there, as opposed to a standard beam, which are so heavy you can only ever put one on a truck. So you save a lot on shipping costs. You can use a smaller crane to set the beams since they're so light. These uh, beams take a, what's called a self-consolidating concrete, which is a, basically a really flowable mixture. Uh, most people would look at it and think it's too runny to be strong. You know, most of the time when you just start adding water to concrete, it, it loses its strength. But this, these uh, beams are filled with that self-consolidating concrete that has special chemicals in it that help it flow basically right into place. If it was traditional concrete, it wouldn't be very good concrete at all, just by looking at it. But with the special chemicals in there, they hold all the, the aggregate in place and keep everything from separating out. You know, you don't want all the water to, to leave. You don't want all the rock to fall to the bottom. And you don't want all the, the paste to, to do its own thing. So it, it keeps it all together. But it, it's a fairly new technology, construction-wise. Uh, only a couple of years old, really. This is the first time it's been used in Missouri. And I think the first time uh, west of the Mississippi that we've, we've ever used any of these beams. So durability is important. We don't want to have to be rebuilding these structures all the time. So, you know, concrete beams, steel beams, they all deteriorate, you know, steel rust, concrete, the salt gets to it and starts eating it away. These are entirely fiberglass on the outside. So the fiberglass is a, a much more resilient material. You know, the salt won't eat away with it. It won't rust. So we should have a much longer life out of these. The uh, only part that sticks through the beam is actually these uh, little ties right here, and they're a galvanized steel, so they shouldn't rust either. So we're hoping for a lot longer life out of a beam like this.